read the verse for us today. But Abraham kept believing in God's promise. He became strong in his faith. He gave glory to God. He was absolutely sure that God had the power to do what he what had promised. promised. So the title for today is Responding in Faith to the Holy Spirit. So uh, first thing that we need to do is just completely cut off our relying on our own abilities and then what we are supposed to do we need to uh, move and do things with the leading of holy spirit who is within us so i want to share with you seven points that uh, you know abraham did and uh, he was credited for his faith right so the first point that i want to share is faith comes by rema rema is the word of god so um when God promised him, God gave him the word that I'm going to bless you with the son. I'm going to make you many nations. He believed. So God might have given you a promise today. Let's not doubt. Let, it might seem like it's not possible, but let's just hold on to that. Just trust God. Put your faith in that word, claiming that word. Amen. And the point number two is seeing the vision of God. So God, when he gives you the word, he will also give you a vision. Vision is like, you know, if, if you look at Abraham's life, uh, God gave him a vision in the heaven. You know, when he was lying down, God gave him a vision. There's so much stars up there in the sky and he's telling him, I'm going to multiply you like the stars in the sky. At that moment, he didn't even have a son. So, but Abraham believed in it. He believed that vision is going to come. He believed his promises, God's promises are going to come and come to pass. To grow in faith, this vision helped him grow in faith. So let God might give you a vision. Hold on to that vision and then proclaim it. Believe in it. So the third point is pondering over the rhema and the vision. So ponder over the word of God that is. Claim it. Ponder over it. Get deeper into it. Put, make your steps moving forward towards the vision and the word, the word and the vision. Let your steps move towards that. Every, every decision you make, let's not doubt what God will. Sometimes a lot of times we have doubt and negativism, negative thoughts, oh, it might not happen. Oh, that's not going to happen. Let's not doubt what God has promised us and the vision that he has given us. He will do it. If he has promised, he will do it for you. And then the fourth point is speaking in faith so let our words always speak in faith let's not you know speak words that are without our negativism let's not speak our word that will make us go down let's speak the words of faith let's proclaim god's promises in our life in kids life in our situations let's just hold on to his words that, that has so much power. So let's speak in faith and then let's act in faith. If you look at uh, even Abraham again, uh, when God asked him to sacrifice his son, you know, he, he got that son after so much, so much of waiting and then God is asking him to sacrifice him. You know, it's so hard to believe, right? So, But he just looked up on the uh, face of God and did what God wanted him to do, just doing it in faith. And God blessed him, right? Just that obedience blessed him so much. So act in faith. The sixth point is waiting in faith. Uh, there was a waiting period for Abraham when God promised him. And then when God fulfilled the promise, when he was 100, and 100 years old, he, never, he would never have imagined that he will have a son, right? But God promised him and he fulfilled it. And you plant a seed and then till the time it grows we need to wait right so god gave that word as a seed and then we need to water it we need to um, believe in it with faith and confidence we need to move forward with that word we cannot just bury it under because we don't see anything out there but we need to wait till the it grows and it bears fruit till we see that miracle happening believe in it put that faith in that word of god and then receiving the promise by faith so because abraham believed in the word and the vision he received it at the right time and if you see even jesus 
uh, was born in his generation. So that's how God blessed Abraham. So amazing, right? That Jesus, son of God, was born in his generation. So that amazing promise God fulfilled in his life. So my dear friends, let's just believe God's word, not, you know, in this earthly realm, we see and then believe, no, in the spiritual, let's just put our faith in God. Let's just put, fix our eyes on Jesus in each circumstance. God will never fail. So let's hold on to his faith, the promises. So today Liana is going to lead us with a song, take me into the holy of holies. Uh, let's get to the relationship where we are always in his presence.